This is the final transfer show of the window. Let's go straight to Michael Bridge at Tottenham. He has breaking news. Evening, Michael. Good evening, Mike. Yeah, I do have some breaking news, and it's an outgoing one we heard and we broke last night on the transfer show, and it's involving Jed Spence, and he decided to join Wren, and that is now being confirmed by Tottenham Hotspur. Very interesting one with Jed Spence because he had a number of options, but he thinks Wren's the best option to play first-team football. He also feels he's going to come back to Tottenham Hotspur and have a future here, and Tottenham Hotspur believe that as well. This is no, no permanence, no future obligations. It's just a straight loan. One we brought you earlier, Matt Doherty, close to sealing a loan move to Atletico Madrid. So that's two right-backs going out, one coming in, Pedro Porro, which is going to be initially a loan with an obligation to buy from July. Waiting to hear the confirmation on that. He's still going through his medical. No issues, I'm told, at all. So two going out today and one coming in. Yeah, so Michael telling us there, two going out, one coming in, Pedro Porro, uh, the man we're expecting to see sign. How do you see him fit into this Tottenham side? Should Tottenham fans be happy? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, it's a need, certainly, that they've, they, they've had for a, a while. And um, in the three seasons, or two and a half seasons, that Porro has been at Sporting, he's, he's been very good. He's um, got to points um, in terms of winning the Portuguese title and excelling in the Champions League um, that I don't think anyone thought possible at the beginning. He was decent for Girona before that. Of course, Pep Guardiola knows him quite well because Manchester City owned him at one point, which is how he ended up uh, at Girona. The City had the option to take him back and they didn't take that up. Um, he ended up becoming a full-time uh, sporting player. He creates a lot. He's very, very energetic um, down that side. I do feel Tottenham have ended up paying a lot of money for him um, because it looks like they'll be paying over the clause for the right um, to pay the clause um, in stages. A bit like what Chelsea are aiming to do with Enzo Fernandez because they don't want to pay, as Carve was saying, the whole lot in, in, in one chunk. And it looks like as well, reports in Portugal are saying there's going to be um, part of the rights to Marcus Edwards, who of course used to belong to Tottenham and now belongs to Sporting. They own him 50-50. It's a sort of co-owner at the moment in terms of economic rights. And it looks like 15% more of the economic rights of Marcus Edwards are going to belong to Sporting. So a conservative estimate, depending on how you value Marcus Edwards, that works out at, at least another €6 million. Euros. It's expensive, but you know, never get into negotiating and bartering with a Portuguese club on deadline day. I think that's the lesson we're all getting here.